Hi, uh, I'm making this video to explain how to calculate productivity in different scenarios and different situations. Uh, we will take two or three examples in this video to uh, uh, share with you how we could calculate productivity. And we will take a, a regular productivity uh, example and the other example would be about multi-factor productivity. And before we start with this, I would like to say productivity is important because it it is linked to the high living standards. Uh, as you see here in the US, you will see clean, uh, very nice roads and uh, uh, facilities that we have in the city, uh, parks and other services that provided by the government. And this is all because of the high productivity that we have in in this country. Uh, other countries uh, that have, uh, other countries that have low level of productivity, uh, you might not see this kind of uh, you might not see this kind of uh, services provided by the government so uh, productivity is linked to the high living standards second uh, productivity uh, the high productivity will give you a competitive advantages over uh, your competitors and that would make you very hard to be replaced by uh, whether foreign foreign competitors or local competitors in the market so high productivity is uh, is a goal for any business and we will uh, learn how we could calculate these uh, productivity uh, I'm going to share my screen with you now in just a second. Uh, share. Uh, okay. Okay. So we have this uh, this example. Uh, this document has been posted on D2L just for your reference. Uh, and uh, I'm going to focus on two types of productivity. One is the productivity, and this is going to be calculated by the output divided by the input, and the multi-factor uh, productivity, which is the output divided by many different factors of input, like labor cost, capital cost, and overhead. Uh, start with the first one, a company that processes uh, fruit and vegetables is able to produce 400 cases of canned peaches uh, in one half hour for with four workers what is the labor productivity the output will see I'm gonna use this Excel right here the output would be two uh, 400 cases uh, we have four workers each worker works for two uh, half an hour so that would be 0.5 so the productivity is 200 uh, cases per uh, per labor hour so for every one hour we could make uh, 200 cases next second example a rubbing paper company produces 2,000 rolls of paper uh, one day uh, labor Cost was 160, material cost 50, overhead cost 320. Determine multi-factor productivity. I'll start with the output, produces 2,000. So the output, I'm going to use the second table. So that would be 2,000. The labor would be uh, 160. Um, machine, we don't have a machine. Material, we have $50 for material. Overhead would be uh, 320. And that would give you a productivity of 3.77 per dollar, per one dollar. Okay, now let's move into a little bit difficult question here, uh, where we have to calculate the cost for the labor, for the material, and for the overhead. Uh, example number three, problem number three. Uh, compute the multi-factor productivity measure for an eight hour day in which the usable output was 300 units produced by three workers who use 600 pounds of material workers have an hourly wage of $20 and material cost is $1 per pound overhead is 1.5 times labor cost start with the output the output is 300 units uh, labor here we have to have an equation. We have to make an equation using Excel. So I'm going to start with the equal. We have three workers times each worker works eight hours. That, that would be 24 hours uh, of labor hours. And then each hour would cost $20. So the labor cost would be 480 Machine, we don't have any machine cost. Uh, but if there's uh, a machine cost, you have to add it. Material cost would be, we use 600 pounds of material. So that would be 600 times how much 
each pound would cost that would cost one dollar uh, six hundred overhead it would be 1.5 of the labor cost so that would be 1.5 times the 480 the labor cost uh, that would give you 720 and this would give you a productivity of um, 0.17 uh, units per dollar uh, there are uh, a few other examples provided on d2l as well just for your reference uh, uh please take a look read them try to solve them by yourself uh, if you have any question and uh if you need me to explain it in more details please let me know